So I was dabbling around looking at different tier lists and stuff, and I seen a fun one, which is a tier list of the rankings of all the Nintendo franchises, and I decided, why not? This would be kind of fun. This is only going to be my personal opinion and take on Nintendo franchises as a whole, my personal ranking system. You may heavily disagree with some of my opinions. You may agree with some of my opinions, but this is going to be my take on every Nintendo franchise in general, my opinion on ranking every Nintendo franchise that exists. Okay, so some of you are probably gonna agree with my first one here. Uh, it's Advance Wars. Okay, so we got S, A, B, C, and D. Advance Wars, I do think the remakes look really cool. I never played Advance Wars growing up on the Game Boy Advance. Um, the remakes do look really cool though, but it's not really quite my style. However, there's one franchise I don't like as much as this, so I'm going to put this in the C ranking. I'm not going to put it in D, because I feel like D for this, as the remakes look really cool and I love the cartoony art style to it and everything, I don't think it deserves a D ranking. Animal Crossing for me, for me personally, because I grew up, listen, listen, Animal Crossing for me, the one on GameCube as a kid, I grew up with it. And it helped me learn how to read and understand certain things on the GameCube. I played hundreds of hours. I mean hundreds of hours. And then I played uh, New Leaf on the 3DS and I loved that. I played that quite a bit and I played New Horizons quite a bit. Uh, but nowhere near as much as I did the GameCube game. The GameCube game, the amount of hours I put. So I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go S tier for Animal Crossing. Because the countless amount of hours you can put in there, because we're talking the franchise as a whole is absolutely incredible i don't agree with one thing with the one on switch uh i don't agree with not being able to have more than one profile on one switch account for the game like there should be four people able to control one island but i get it because you design the whole island yourself and stuff i, I understand so that's just my take with animal crossing it's hands down s tier just because of my childhood memories with it it's it's such i have such fond memories with animal crossing and the amount of hours you can put into it, plus the one for Switch came out at the perfect timing in 2020. So it was like, it helped through so many things through life uh, being there. So yeah. Uh, so now we have Bayonetta. I have not played Bayonetta 3 still. I know it's on my list. Take it at some point, but I love one and two. I'm gonna put it at a B rank, a solid B like right in the middle. Cause they're fun hack and slash games and they're really good. But they're not like A and S tier worthy, I feel like. I feel like a solid B, right in the middle. Middle tier for Bayonetta, I think is pretty solid for the most part, I would say. Donkey Kong for me. Okay, you might you might not like me very much for this. And the re reason why, I'm going to put it in a C. D you, you might hate me, but here's the thing. The only Donkey Kong game I have ever beaten, played and beat, is Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Country Tropical Freeze. And I love that game. I do. I gotta go back and replay it though. Eventually. Um, I have played Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Uh, but there, And I played Donkey Kong 64. But Donkey Kong to me never grabbed me that dang much. Like I, I, I like Donkey Kong. But it never grabbed me. The way that some other games will. So that's just my hot take on Donkey Kong. So, D rank is going to be, Dr. Mario is going to be in D rank, I'm sorry, I mean, it's alright, you know, but it, it's essentially another Tetris, and like, I'm not huge on that, so Dr. Mario is going to just be a D rank for me personally, I mean, not, it, not that it's bad, L listen, none of these are bad, No, nothing here is bad, just, just, I'm telling you that right now, nothing on this list is bad. But for me, Dr. Mario is straight up D rank. I have the Game Boy game, but like, it's nothing special to me. All right, you're gonna hate me for the next one. I'm sorry. This is my personal opinions. Like I said, Fire Emblem's a D. Listen, I just can't get by that gameplay. The gameplay of any Fire Emblem, I have never been able to get into Fire Emblem because I'm not into those puzzle strategy type games which Fire Emblem is. I like the art style. I like the animation that they use. I like the cutscenes. I like watching people play Fire Emblem. I have friends who love Fire Emblem. And 
I like watching people play Fire Emblem, but for me personally, as a gamer and my experiences with games, I can't get into Fire Emblem. I can't. And I love the characters that are in Smash, like they're great. Even though they added maybe a little too many characters from Fire Emblem. I'm sorry, Fire Emblem fans. Um, but I, it's just, it's just, I, I can't get get with Fire Emblem. I, I just can't do it. Okay, so next we have F Zero. I only have played the Super Nintendo F Zero, um, which is fun. It's a really fun game. I I do really like that game. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. But I don't have very many memories with F Zero, and we do deserve a new one. We absolutely do. But I'm gonna put it in the C ranking. Also, Donkey Kong, I'm gonna put above Advance Wars in the C ranking for sure. Um, but F Zero for me, I'm gonna give it a solid C. If they make a new game, it might go up to a B probably. But F Zero is not one. We deserve a new game, but F Zero is not one that has any impact whatsoever on me whatsoever throughout my life so yeah golden sun i'm sorry i've never played it i know the character i know people wanted him in smash i know he's an assist trophy but i never really i'm not massive on turn-based jrpgs as well um like i like final fantasy 7 i've dabbled with eight a little bit and i think six and the first one but I'm not huge on JRPG turn-based games and stuff. I, like, I know it's good, but Golden Sun is just not really, for me, it's not really my thing. Uh, whereas some games hit me and some games don't. Let me know your thoughts on Golden Sun because I, it is not really my thing, you know? But uh, let me know if it's something that you like really enjoy playing. So next up on the list is Kid Icarus. Um, so Kid Icarus is going in the D ranking because I have barely played much Kid Icarus. I played the original one a little bit. Um, that might be the only one that I've actually really played. Uh, I want the one for the 3DS, but it's so expensive now. Uh, but Kid Icarus, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be a D ranking for me. I am so sorry, but this, like I said, this is just my personal takes. Um, so D ranking for Kid Icarus, I've not played much Kid Icarus in my life. Kirby, on the other hand, I'm going to put in a solid A ranking. I grew up with Kirby. I played quite a bit of a few different Kirby games from the that from my Super Nintendo Mini to the GameCube. The GameCube Kirby Star Allies, not Star Allies, uh, Kirby Air Ride. I loved playing that game. Like, like, me and my buddy played so many hours of that game when we were younger, just fooling around on the GameCube. It was silly, the amount of hours that we put into that game. And then I have a couple Kirby games on the 3DS, and then, of course, the one the latest the 3d one for the switch which is fantastic uh so kirby's a solid a ranking for me i really do love kirby i have a kirby plushie up on the top bunk uh i, I kirby's awesome what can i say luigi's mansion i'm gonna go with a solid b because i really like luigi's mansion but i know i'm gonna be honest i've never beaten any of them <laughs> I just I I love the first one. I have it for GameCube and I never got the 3DS one and I love Luigi's Mansion 3. I still never finished Luigi's Mansion 3. I have to be honest, I got stuck so many times. I got frustrated. Uh probably got over halfway done, but I got frustrated at a point where I just kind of stopped playing it and I still haven't gone back to it and I should be using a YouTube guide to give me a hand, but I just kind of stopped. But Luigi's Mansion's cool, so it's a solid B tier for me. It's it's right in the middle, you know. Mario and Luigi, I'm going to give a C because I don't think I've really played any of them, but I don't want to give it a D because I know they're like pretty fun from what I know, but I want to get some of those for the 3DS and the DS. Uh, they're on my list of games to buy in the future and play um, because I, I really think Mario and Luigi has a lot of cool games from what I've heard, word of mouth. I've heard that it's got some really cool games. Mario Kart, well, this is an easy S tier. Uh, I'm going to put it in front of Animal Crossing because, I, I mean, I don't think I have as many hours, but the thing is, is I have some good memories. Because Mario Kart's one of those games that you're going to play with family, you're going to play with friends, you're going to play with anybody that you know. You're going to be playing with literally anybody that you know. Even, like, like my sister, my sister-in-law, like, like you, cousins, brothers, sisters, it doesn't matter who it is, anyone can enjoy Mario Kart. That's the thing I love about Mario Kart. Anyone and everybody can enjoy Mario Kart. Like, so many people who do not play video games will play Mario Kart with their kids, with their grandkids, with their cousins, with their sisters, who, or whoever, you know? So, like, Mario Kart has to be an S tier, because this is Mario Kart in general. And the amount of hours that we've played between Super Mario Kart, like Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart DS, 
uh, Mario Kart Wii especially, and then Mario Kart 8 Deluxe definitely. Like the amount of hours that we throw into the in the Mario Kart franchise is absolutely insane. So it's easily an S tier. Mario Party. Mm, I'm gonna give it a B, and that's because the, the franchise, although it's making a decent comeback for the Switch. My most fond memories was as a kid with the Mario Party franchise at friends' places, playing the ones on the GameCube, and even the ones on the even eight on the Wii. I had some good good memories with. So Mario Party is going to be in the B tier list, like right in the middle, because it's got some good ones. It's got some bad one, really t bad ones, like the Wii U ones aren't that good. If you ask me, they're not. Uh, so I think putting it in the B tier list is probably pretty fair. So as for Super Mario being next, um, I think we're talking like Super Mario World, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Odyssey, that's an S tier. Because we're talking Super Mario in general, like that's Super Mario Galaxy, that's everything, that's easy S tier by far. And I'd even put that above Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. Super Mario in general, that is easily an S tier. So uh, Metroid, uh, I'm going to give it an A, and the only reason why I can't put it in S, even though Metroid Dread is one of my favorite, possibly favorite Nintendo games of all time, like, at least for the Switch, it's one of the best games, hands down. I have not played enough Metroid, I played, uh, the only ones I've beaten are Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime Remastered. I have played Super Metroid, that's the only other one that I've had, had played, but I'm going to give the franchise as a whole a solid A, which I think a lot of people would say that's totally fair. You know, for me to give it a mother, I, I'm, I'm going to give both of these. I don't know why there's two, but I'm going to put them in D because I'm not really into mother. I, I played it a teeny bit on Super NES, but mother is not for me. I'm sorry, mother fans and those who want mother three really bad. I'm sorry as well that that's like not coming out or whatever the situation is there. But the mother franchise is in D ranking for me. Uh, Mario Party. Um, Mario Party? I meant Paper Mario. Uh, Paper Mario, I'm giving... A B only because Thousand Year Door. I here's the thing with Paper Mario. Some of you might agree, disagree. Some of you might agree. Uh, I, so I've only played Thousand Year Door. I don't think I played the one on the Wii, but I don't disagree. I don't agree with the gameplay anymore. Like, I wanted another Thousand Year Door. I like that RPG, the RPG gameplay that we got in Thousand Year Door. I love that gameplay, and that's exactly what I want out of a new Paper Mario game. But we're not getting that anymore, and I don't think we're ever gonna get that again. It's got elements, but it's not Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And not Paper Mario 64 as well, which I really, I really never played Mario 64 because I didn't have an N64 growing up. But Thousand Year Door, I've beaten that game like four times or something. And I love that game so much. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is just so, so good. So I'm going to put it in a B because the franchise has gone slowly down for me and i've only played one of them but it's such a good game but it's solid b tier next up is pikmin uh you might hate me for it but it's going c rank i'm not gonna put it in d i've not played a tech of a ton of pikmin i might play pikmin 4 when it comes out uh i didn't play a ton growing up i played a little bit of pikmin on the wii uh but i have not dabbled in a enough pikmin to really put it like oh yeah this is like a top tier list type franchise but i don't want to put it in d because i see a lot of people like it, and even though this is my opinions, um, I played a little Pikmin when I was younger, and it's, it's kind of, it's alright, it's alright, so it, it's gonna be C rank. Pokemon, Pokemon's my number one. Why? I gr I've grown up with it since, since I was so little, and listen, Super Mario's really close with it, because Mario Sunshine was the first Mario game I grew up with, and Pokemon and Super Mario Sunshine, it was Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and Mario Sunshine were the two two of the games out of the three game franchises I grew up with when as the very first video games I ever beat in my life. There was Pokemon, there was Super Mario Sunshine, and there was Kingdom Hearts. Those were the three franchises that were the first ones that introduced me into like gaming as a whole uh, throughout my life between the GameCube and the PS2 when I was a kid. So Pokemon's going to be S tier, number one favorite franchise of Nintendo. Not even Mario. Some of you might be surprised by that. I know what's going on at Game Freak. I know what's happening with Pokemon and it's disappointing and it's it's upsetting and I need Game Freak to do better I hope that their next game if their next game is not good and is not solid they're losing me they're losing me they're losing me because and it might be black and white remakes if I'm guessing but 
Game Freak as a whole just needs to understand that they need to take more time. But their games are making billions of sales or whatever, millions and millions of sales anyway. So they, it's like they don't care. Like, I just, ugh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Punch Out, I'm sorry. I'm giving it a D. I haven't played much Punch Out. Uh, like I said, this is my personal opinions. You might disagree with that. I want to get more Punch Out games in the future, though, because they are fun to play with friends. And it's something that I do really want to play more of. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. This is uh, something I've also never, ever touched in my life, so I'm going to give Rhythm Heaven a D. Uh, I'm sorry if you uh, disagree with that. I've never played Rhythm Heaven, though. Um, I know people wanted the characters in Smash, but it didn't happen. So, oh well there. Super Smash Bros., S tier, hands down, and I would even put it above Mario Kart and Animal Crossing for me personally. And it got Sora in Ultimate, which made me really, really, really happy. Uh, Smash Ultimate, what can I say? I grew up with, so here's the thing, I grew up with Melee as a kid with the GameCube, and I loved Melee to death. I had so many awesome memories. Even with Brawl, I had so many awesome memories. Uh, playing it at friends' houses, fighting the bosses, going through Subspace Emissary together and stuff. It was so, so fun. And then uh, Smash 4. It was one of the main reasons why I wanted to own a Wii U because of Smash, because I love Smash Bros. Um, and I had, had I still have the 3DS version of it. I don't have my Wii U anymore, more. But um, Smash as a whole, just the amount of hours and love that I put into that franchise, and the amount I still play of Smash Ultimate, and I have Melee still. It's just man, it's just it's fantastic. Splatoon. So, Splatoon, I'm going to put it a solid A. I put a lot of hours into the first game when it first came out. I put easily over 100-something hours into it, which isn't actually a whole lot, believe it or not. Splatoon 2, I put over 60 hours in, but then Splatoon 3 was coming around. I still I still don't own Splatoon 3. I'm sorry. I didn't because I'm like, well, they're probably going to do a fourth game anyway, but there's expansion passes coming and stuff, and my one brother might be getting it soon, so I might end up getting Splatoon 3, but I'm going to put it at an A rank because I've had a lot of fun with Splatoon 1 and 2. The amount of hours I put into it is like, wow. Uh, it's, it's it's just so fun. It's just, it's just so fun. So next up here is Star Fox. Now, I have some fond memories with Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube as a kid and I rebought it and played quite a bit of it on the GameCube again and it's a pretty fun game but that's not the biggest Star Fox kind of thing my personal opinion it's like my favorite Star Fox but whatever um, but uh, I played a little bit of Star Fox 64 as I own it and the one on Super Nintendo uh, and on the mini version of the Super Nintendo you get Star Fox 2 as well I believe it's Star Fox 2 uh, which never came out until that which is really cool I've just dabbled around with those and messed with those I'm gonna give it a solid C rank the Star Fox franchise solid C rank maybe you agree maybe you disagree but that's just my personal opinion it's a personal take on it uh, the legendary Starfy wait what I'm not even sure what that really is I'll have to look that up the legendary Starfy so that's a D rank <laughs> I don't really know what the legendary Starfy is uh, WarriorWare I'm gonna give a solid C I have some good memories on the original DS at a friend's house when I was younger playing them. And I also really like WarioWare Get Get It Together on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's really cool and a lot of fun. But you don't get that many hours out of it, but it's a fun party game to play with friends. So, solid C rank over a D rank for the WarioWare franchise. I'll, I'll give it to them. Xenoblade Chronicles. You're going to hate me for it. I haven't played any of them. D rank. Um, the gameplay for me, I don't know if it's for me or not. I never really gave it a chance. So Xenoblade might be something I might give more of a chance in the future. Maybe. I know a lot of people love the Xenoblade games. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get around to them because they're also really, really long and really big games. And I already play enough games as it is. So I don't know. Xenoblade is a D for me. I know Fire Emblem and Xenoblade both being in the D ranking. Some of you are going to hate me for that, but again, it is only my personal opinions and take on them. Like some of these, Xenoblade and Fire Emblem for some of you are S tier or A tier, hands down. And I see why. So that's my controversial opinion on them because I just am not big on their gameplay. And it just isn't for me. So Yoshi as a franchise whole, uh... I'll give it a C instead of a D because I do like Yoshi, but like Yoshi's Islands, like all I played. Uh, so I mean, I'll give Yoshi a solid C ranking, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yoshi deserves more love, like with his own games and stuff. But I don't know if we'll get more. Well, we got Yoshi's Woolly World, which was kind of cool. I never played it, 
um, because I feel like it's not worth the price tag. Maybe at a good sale, I'd get it for like $20, $30, but Nintendo being Nintendo and their prices, they don't like to go down very much. Uh, so we got two more left. I'm gonna save that one for last. We're gonna do arms. Arms, there's only one game and I got rid of it. <laughs> I played like quite a few hours, but there's only so much arms you can play. There's only so much you can do with arms. So I, I give it a D rank. Uh, I, 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 a lot of you might actually agree with that. Like, unless ARMS gets a sequel and they improve a lot of things, I don't really agree. I, I'm not big on ARMS. Okay, so don't let the hat fool you here. Don't let the hat fool you. It is a Zelda hat. Um, but it is an S tier, but I'm gonna put it in third behind Mario and Pokemon. And the reason for that is because I've not played as many Zelda games as I have Mario and Pokemon. Now, Zelda, I have played and beaten a few, but I've played quite a few, but I did, did forget to mention when I said Super Mario Sunshine, Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and um, Kingdom Hearts, there was also The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which I grew up with on the GameCube as well. So, which is also still at the moment my favorite Zelda game of all time, but that might change with Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know yet. I have not finished Tears of the Kingdom, and I am putting so many hours into that game, and I love it very much. Um, but that being said, uh, this is my personal hot take tier list on the Nintendo franchises as a whole here. Maybe you agree, maybe you completely disagree. Uh, I know S tier shouldn't be too surprising with Pokemon, Mario, Zelda, Smash, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing uh, being like the heaviest hitters here. Um, but it's just my personal opinions on these Nintendo franchises and what I think of them all and my personal memories and with the franchises and let me know your favorite franchises from Nintendo let me know how you would change this ranking system with some of the rankings that I gave these games on this list so what did you think of the list uh, that's just my personal take like I said a bunch of times probably uh, I really enjoyed doing this I thought it was a lot of fun it was just something that I just randomly was exploring tier lists and thought this would be a fun one to do by ranking all of the Nintendo franchises in a tier list for my personal opinion and hot take uh, so yeah if you enjoyed this hit the like button maybe subscribe to the channel if you're new here um, thank you so much for watching uh, maybe I'll do more tier lists in the future I probably will uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what your favorite franchise is, what your favorite memories possibly are with some of these franchises. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button if you did not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I already said that, but that's perfectly okay. And thank you so much for watching. Check out some of these other videos uh, that are about to pop up here in a minute. Thanks so much. See you guys next time. Peace.